Kelly, where's Bud? He was listening behind the door. Oh. Oh. Come on, Bud. Oh. Kelly, oh. we have. Oh. Will you oh. shut up? Oh. Oh. Kids, get dressed. We're leaving. But we like it here. Suit yourself, Peg. <laughs> Al, we are not leaving the children. Well, what's wrong? There's someone in our room. That's him. <laughs> We get in the car and drive home. That's it. That's the plan. Let's go. Oh, okay. Who could have cut our tires? Oh, well, let's see. Who do we know that's insane and has a sharp object? Grandma? <laughs> Dad, would this be a bad time to remind you we all voted for Hawaii? You know, bud, there's still an opening for someone to go upstairs and get our bags. Oh, what? There's a phone behind you. You might want to share this with the police. I mean, just tell them that we're in this dump. And if you have the time, why don't you tell them that there's a killer upstairs? Oh. <laughs> See, there's a team player. <laughs> Hello, operator. Operator. Hello. The phone's dead. OK, I know how to buy some time. Well, tie Kelly up and leave her as an offering. Uh-uh, <laughs> last born, first torn. Don't move! Oh. I love you, Al. Who cares? We're gonna die. <laughs> what are you folks doing? Wedding ourselves. Someone tried to kill us in our room. Oh, yeah. Must have been the guy who does that every five years. That wasn't in the brochure, Al. Storm washed the bridge out. That means the killer is stuck right here with us. Got him right where I want him. Well, might as well go back to bed now. Oh, if you folks would see him again, just holler. I'll try and find you. There goes the only man in town who can save us from the killer. We're dead. Well, maybe this is just one of those mystery weekends. It was no mystery, Mom. Dad was just too cheap to take us someplace nice, and we're going to be butchered. Thank you, Father, kids. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Dad. <laughs> OK, family meeting. Okay. All right, now let's discuss what we know already. We're trapped by a killer. The phones are dead. And the sheriff couldn't catch an M&M in his mouth. <laughs> so it looks like it's left up to us to survive. Now, what we need is a weapon. Any weapons? How about Bud's underwear on a stick? <laughs> That's a good thought, Kelly, but we can't get to our clothes. Well, here's a plastic fork, Al. That's good enough. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sit with our backs to each other so no one can sneak up on us. Now, we'll set up a watch. We'll take turns. I'll take the first watch. Now, I think I can stay up all night, but if I get sleepy, I'll wake you up. Now, be careful, Al. Don't worry about me. I got the fork. <laughs> well, this is certainly a fine how do you do. They're alive. What happens to our pool? I guess we just roll it over till tonight. Oh. Yeah. I think we should wake them up. It's almost noon. Don't startle the poor little white-haired girl. I read them albinos are real skittish. <laughs> Be careful. The one with the powerful feet got a fork in his pants. Hey, Bundy, get up. Oh, Peg, kids, get up. It's safe, thanks to me. Al, why didn't you wake us for our watch? Hey. The lion watches over his cubs. 